This is another video from Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. A video archive from 40 plus years of live stage comedy from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Hey everybody, I got a great comedy video for you. Coming up, one of our favorites out of New York, Tim Jones. He started in New York, came out to the West Coast and made a great name for himself as a road comic and was one of the regular acts at the Comedy Store in the 80s and 90s. Tim Jones was always clean and fun and high energy. For, uh, whether he was an MC or a headliner, he always brought it all for the show. I know you'll enjoy his comedy set taped live on stage from back in the mid 80s. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Jones. Oh, oh. Well, come on and shake it up. Hurt so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Cause sometimes love don't feel like it should. So make it uh, uh, so good. <laughs> So like what's happening? <laughs> the more people here than I thought, I only brought one joint that's not gonna make it, okay? Especially with this guy sitting here, you know? You do one of these. It's gone. And maybe I should straighten something up right at the top here. Because I noticed everybody's kind of looking at me. I know I look black, but I'm not, okay? I'm not. You know, I got bored one afternoon, I went by Earl Shive, okay? And, uh... Alright? Alright? No, I, I'm not black. I just have confused chromosomes, you know? I... Black, white, back and forth. You know, I should do one of those Quasar Color TV commercials, you know? Just stand there and say hi. My hair is blonde. My skin is fair. And my lips are thin. <laughs> and if you see anything other than that on your screen, time to get a new set valve. <laughs> You see the people in Indiana. Damn, look like a coon to me. <laughs> of course, it could be Wild Kingdom or something. I don't know. <laughs> Some of you out there rubbing your eyes. No, I am black, but I'm unarmed, okay? Uh... <laughs> you know, what did we really smoke? You look black to me. You know? I mean, I'm even bilingual, you know? I, I can speak black English. I can say, hey, what's happening, y'all? McDonald's got ribs. No bones. <laughs> Or I can speak white English. I can say, hi, how you doing? Come on, let's go get some tuna casserole. Come on. <laughs> but the point is, we're all people. We're all people. Same things piss us off. <laughs> how come people who work in the post office have an attitude like, I got a big girl all day, so you might be here too. Tim Jones. Big act in Los Angeles. Stamps, I'll go print you some. Excuse Regular me. Huh? Comedy store. Seen on television okay, all lunch, the time. We'll be back to Wednesday, okay, Val? <laughs> you know, my car pisses me off. How come every time I get some extra money, my car knows? <laughs> Give me some new clothes, the tennis racket, the car goes, uh-uh. 
I want to go to the doctor. <laughs> Call the tow truck. I ain't walking, okay? Common experiences, we all get pimples, you know? All get pimples at the wrong time. You gotta go on a date, you gotta go on a meeting, pimples go. Burr, 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 burr. We wanna go too. <laughs> all right. and, and they're never someplace where you can hide them, you know? It's always like right between your eyes. You meet people and they say, Hi, how you doing? Who's your friend? Do you have an invitation or what? Does yeah. anything scare us? You ever sit at home late at night watching television all by yourself? Then out of the corner of your eye you think you see something move? <laughs> right? But you know you're alone but a little voice in your head says, Somebody's in here. And the curtain moves and the lamp looks pissed off, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's when I go right into the kitchen, get a big glass of milk, some cookies, and a butcher knife, you know? <laughs> Come out of the kitchen talking trash. Yeah, who's ever in here? I got a butcher knife. <laughs> and out of the darkness you hear, I got a 38. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Ever go to a friend's house and use the bathroom? <laughs> How many people have friends? Let's start with baby. <laughs> Never go to a friend's house, use the bathroom, and then suddenly find out, uh-oh, no toilet paper. <laughs> then you start wondering about towels and curtains, right? <laughs> Fuck it, I don't live here, man. I know it was me, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. And you know what I found out today? There's a big brouhaha going on in the burger world. Apparently the Burger King was caught nibbling Ronald's McNuggets. <laughs> and when they asked him why, he said, well, Wendy wasn't as hot and juicy as she said she was. <laughs> Some of you are laughing, some of you are staring like you're at home watching television. <laughs> Can we go now? Because I'm from New York City. I'm from New York, where it's where it's happens. You know, you see cats on the street trying to sell. Are you from New York over here? Really, what part? No, no. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Where in Brooklyn? I used to live there. East 29th Street. East 29th Street. Yeah, I used to steal and pillage a lot in that area. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Your well, TV's working fine. Don't worry about it. I need to get that remote control. When won't you be home? You know? <laughs> I'm from New York. You know, New York is a trip. There's cats me on the street trying to say something. You know, yo, brother, yo, man, yeah, yeah. This is your lucky day, man. Uh, yeah, I got ten pound bags of Colombian. Ten pound bags. Two dollars. <laughs> Okay, sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> you know, the kind of attitude. What do I have in the glass? It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's like liquid Tylenol. You want to? <laughs> I'm trying to quit myself. You're trying to quit. Okay. Does that mean something? I'm not sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good. Okay. I was in a park today. I was in a park and I was watching the squirrels. The squirrels trip me out because they just space out. <laughs> the park, you know, they got squirrels. They just sit there and they look like and think things like, wow, I wish I had a car. <laughs> then I could go shopping, you know? I don't know. 
And you try to you try to catch a squirrel. First thing I do is leap for a tree. You know, it's like, and then I look at you and say, "Don't waste my time, okay, pal? You better be Dr. J, all right, man." Strange attitude. But New York, you know where the nuts are. You see them on the streets, just rocking for no reason, just bouncing back and forth. And then you try to talk to him. You're like, "What's your name, brother?" My name? <laughs> Pigeon? <laughs> uh, and you look in his eyes, you see a sign that says vacancy, you know? <laughs> One bedroom unfurnished. <laughs> and then you see him sitting on a curb talking to a Chrysler. You know what? I'm from Detroit too! <laughs> Stacy, man, Stacy. But I miss New York. I miss those New York City parties. Do you guys like to party? Yeah. This guy's not sure. He's saying, well, is there going to be any food at this party? Huh? I have to go to them crazy parties. Them Holland, you know, them crazy, crazy parties. People only care about one thing, having a good time, you know? See cats on the floor dancing, getting down. Suddenly they look out the window. Shit, somebody just stole my car. <laughs> uh, so what? I'll get a ride. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I stole it last week, you know what I mean? <laughs> Parties where you put your drink down to dance, you pick it up, and it's an ashtray, you know what I mean? Parties where you walk into the bathroom, three people in the tub, no water, no clothes. Woo! And suddenly you feel kind of dirty too, you know what I mean? And move over, baby, they call me Mr. Bubble, yeah! I like to go to parties watch people get drunk. It's always fun because they sit there and their drinks pop out their hands, you know? <laughs> you always look up and they say, uh, gravity, man, you know? <laughs> Gravity.